Hello and welcome to Redwood City Entrepreneurial Academy. This is part two of a three-part series called Three Terrific Twitter Tools and today we will focus on measuring growth with Twitter Counter. Let's start off with just an update on our uh, Redwood City Entrepreneurial Academy Twitter account. Uh, in part one, I was five days into this Twitter account and was gaining about 35 followers a day. And uh, let's see how we're doing now. So I am going to go to Twitter Counter Dot com and uh, and here uh, once you go there you just click on sign in with Twitter authorize the app and it, it will take you back to your Twitter counter update and here um, like I did with 3P I'll be focusing on the free version of Twitter counter this um, website is very simple easy navigation on the site it's it's beautiful uh, here at the very top you can sign up for weekly updates personally I just come here when I need to take a look at the stats and see what's going on and uh, and down here it'll default to the last week of growth and uh, as you can continue down over here you can see uh, the um, four stats here number of followers today up 15 from yesterday number of tweets today uh, less than 12 of yesterday but then again the day is not over and a uh, number of people you are following, uh, which is up 119 from yesterday, as well as your worldwide uh, Twitter rank. And again, this is based on a sample of 1.2 million Twitter users. I'm assuming these are selected at random. Uh, as you go further down, you'll see this neat little box where it will give you some predictions based on your history. You can look at um, what your predictions of followers or different milestones. So I should, within two, day, two days, uh, reach about 500 followers, and uh, it'll go into the future and tell me in about two, a little over two months, I should be at 1,500 followers, which I'm hoping, actually, that's not going to be the case. I'm hoping I'd be at 1,500 much sooner than that, but we shall see. As you go down uh, at the very bottom, you'll see the daily average, which is plus 15 followers, plus 20 tweets, and uh, about 58 people that I follow. And of course, that all is going to change, varying on how uh, long the account has been active. Now let's go back to the graph and take a slightly deeper look at the statistics. As this is the free version, it'll give you only up to three months of statistics. So you can take a look at last week, which is where we are right now. You can take a look at last month or the last three months. And um, so, you know, we're August 15th today. Uh, July 26th is as far as this goes, but because that's about when I started my Twitter account. And you can kind of see that, you know, there's a steady increase uh, with a little bit of a, not a slump, but, you know, just a, uh, uh, about to stay the same over here at this point where I wasn't too active and now I've become a little bit more active. So you can see the steady uh, steady increase. You can Over here you can actually compare our stats with an other account. Uh, I'll use someone that I just followed today actually. Uh, this is uh, this person here. Um, this is Art Maker Poet and I'll just copy her username here and, uh, and kind of put that in there and hit the compare button. And you can see over the last week how we've done. We're actually pretty close over here and then all of a sudden I kind of took off a little bit and uh, let's actually look at it over the last three months just to kind of see. As you can see this is where my account started. She's been active for a little bit longer uh, and over in the beginning of July she was you know, she's averaging about 10 to 15 maybe 25 30 and, and it's always interesting to note what happens here probably it was a blog post or something or the other happened that kind of got her uh, people more attention to her or she just started following more people at that point anyways uh, it's it's kind of a useful tool to kind of see how you compare with other people as well and uh, in the graph you can compare how you do to with any of the two statistics there's only three the free version will only allow you to track three statistics number of followers uh, number of that you are following and the number of tweets so here we'll compare number of followers versus um, tweets that we've done and uh, if you look at the last month obviously you know the number of followers is steady steadily rising number of tweets has varied quite a bit um, and usually the more you tweet 
I'd say between 20 to 30 times a day, uh, the more engagement you get and the more followers. As you can see over here where there was a kind of a slump, that was some of the lowest tweeting that I've done over the past of, uh, over the past month. Now, lastly, we're going to go through one of the tools here that I find pretty interesting, uh, especially if you're new to Twitter. It's called the Profile Checker. We're going to go down to Tools, click on Profile Checker, and we're going to run our Profile Check. And it'll give you um, a little bit of information that you know things are pretty healthy here. It's kind of interesting that it tells me that my background is miserable and I haven't set a background image. As you can see, there's the background image, and uh, so I'm kind of confused about that. But yeah, anyways, it's not perfect. The thing that's really interesting for me is you know when we do when we do go on to part three you, of this, uh, it'll it'll show you some interesting things. Obviously, new account. We've got a healthy number of followers, healthy number of average tweets. Uh, you know, last activity was about an hour ago. Good. And here, also interesting, your retweetability, retweetability score is eight, and the average is eight. So I'm kind of eh, at the average right now. But again, uh, month. Uh, this has been a month since I've uh, not even a month actually. Probably been just uh, two weeks since I've been uh, with this account. And finally, it'll give you a. Um, health and recommendations. So some of the things it says that it doesn't want me to overshare, uh, number of followers keep growing them. Uh, I definitely have a lot more people following uh, that I'm following that, than that are following me. So this is about all that I really wanted to share about this. This you can kind of take a look at uh, at your own leisure. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, I can be reached at RWCEA. Thank you very much.